Early detection can save your life. Early detection is key when it comes to liver disease. In this video, we'll explore 11 signs your skin might show, and later, we'll uncover the science behind these changes. But first, let's talk about this amazing organ, the liver. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. It's like a master control center, silently working behind the scenes to keep you healthy. The liver produces bile, a superhero that breaks down fats and helps your body absorb nutrients from your food. It acts as a filter, removing harmful toxins and waste products from your bloodstream, keeping you feeling your best. Understanding these crucial functions highlights why early detection of liver disease is important. By recognizing potential signs, you can seek prompt medical attention and improve your chances of a successful outcome. Bonus alert! We'll also explore some of the common causes of liver disease later in the video. Now, let's delve into the 14 skin symptoms that might indicate liver problems. Symptom 1 of liver disease loss of skin tone and elasticity. And your skin is my skin. Imagine your skin as a trampoline. Collagen and elastin are the fibers that give your skin its bounce and youthful appearance. When your liver isn't functioning optimally, it can produce less of these proteins. This reduction can lead to dullness. Skin appears less radiant and loses its healthy glow. Thinning. The skin becomes more fragile and susceptible to tearing or injury. Loss of elasticity. The bounce diminishes, making wrinkles and sagging more noticeable. Symptom 2 of liver disease petechiae. How's your skin? These are tiny, red, flat spots that appear under the skin. They're not itchy or painful and usually measure less than 3 millimeters in diameter. Petechiae occur when small blood vessels near the skin's surface rupture and leak blood. In a healthy liver, proteins help with blood clotting. However, a fatty liver can affect how these proteins function, making it easier for these small blood vessels to break and cause petechiae. Symptom 3 of liver disease angiocaratoma. Well then, let's take a look at the skin abnormality of yours. These are small, reddish-purple bumps that typically appear on the palms, soles of the feet, or fingers. They can be solitary or clustered together, and are usually painless. The exact cause of angiocaratomus is unknown, but they might be linked to abnormal blood vessel growth. Some theories suggest a connection to impaired blood flow or circulation, which can be affected by a fatty liver. It's important to note that angiocaratomus can also be hereditary and are not always a sign of liver problems. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Symptom 4 of liver disease itchy skin. It's itchy skin, honey. Unrelenting itchy skin all over your body can be a nightmare, especially when scratching brings no relief. This persistent itch, called pruritus, might not even have any visible rashes to explain the discomfort. Doctors examining patients with this symptom might not see any obvious abnormalities on the skin either. The culprit behind this intense itching is often linked to problems with your liver. When your liver isn't working as well as it should, toxins like bilirubin build up in your bloodstream. Normally, your liver processes and gets rid of these substances, but when it's not functioning properly, they can accumulate and irritate your skin. This pruritus is a common sign of liver disease and can even appear before other symptoms become noticeable. So, if you or someone you know experiences persistent itching for no apparent reason, it's wise to see a doctor. It could be an indication of underlying liver issues that need prompt attention. Symptom 5 of liver problems xanthomas. Look at my skin. Ever notice strange yellowish bumps on your skin? These could be xanthomas, and while they might seem like a minor annoyance, they can be a sign of underlying liver issues. Your liver plays a starring role in managing your body's cholesterol levels. It helps break down and remove excess cholesterol from your bloodstream. But when your liver isn't functioning properly, Cholesterol can build up, leading to deposits under your skin, those yellowish bumps we call xanthomas. Xanthomas can also be a sign of a genetic condition called familial hypercholesterium, where high cholesterol runs in the family. This emphasizes the liver's crucial role in keeping cholesterol levels in check for overall health. If you notice these yellowish patches on your skin, it's important to see a doctor. Early detection and treatment of any underlying liver problems can help prevent further complications. Symptom 6 of liver issues bleeding or bruising easily. Look at that crispy, buttery skin. What? Easily forming bruises or experiencing excessive bleeding can be a warning sign of liver problems. Your liver plays a critical role in blood clotting by producing proteins that help stop bleeding. When your liver isn't working properly, 
it might not produce enough of these clotting factors, leading to longer bleeding times and easier bruising, even from minor bumps. There's more to the story. Liver disease can also affect the production of albumin, a protein that keeps your blood vessel walls strong. Weak blood vessels are more likely to burst and cause bleeding. Additionally, liver problems can lead to a buildup of toxins, increased inflammation, and even vitamin deficiencies, all of which can further increase your risk of bleeding and bruising. If you notice you're bruising or bleeding more easily than usual, see a doctor. This could be a sign of liver dysfunction or other health issues that require attention. Early diagnosis and treatment can help prevent complications. Symptom 7 of liver disease Depitrin's contracture <laughs> Depitrin's contracture might sound scary, but it's basically a condition that makes it hard to straighten your fingers fully. It happens when the tissue under your palm and fingers thickens and tightens, forming lumps and cords that pull your fingers inwards. Here's the link to liver disease. When your liver isn't working properly, it can lead to an overproduction of collagen, a key player in that thickening tissue. This excess collagen can contribute to Depitrin's contracture. But it's important to note that Depitrin's contracture isn't a guaranteed sign of liver problems. Genetics can also play a role, meaning you might inherit it from family members even with a healthy liver. It's also linked to other conditions like diabetes and smoking. The key takeaway? If you notice difficulty straightening your fingers or lumps in your palm, see a doctor. Early diagnosis of any underlying issue, whether it's liver-related or not, can lead to better treatment outcomes. Just remember, Depitrin's contracture can have multiple causes, so a doctor's evaluation is crucial. Symptom 8 of liver disease Terry's nails. Look at your skin. It's translucent. Terry's nails might sound strange, but it's a condition that changes how your fingernails look. The white part of your nail bed, near the base, gets bigger and takes on a frosted glass appearance, while the pink or red part shrinks. It's a distinctive change. The reason for this shift isn't fully understood, but it's linked to problems with blood flow in the nail bed and potentially low levels of albumin. Albumin helps keep fluids balanced in your body, and low levels can be a sign of liver issues. This, in turn, might affect your nails and cause the Terry's nail appearance. So, if you notice these changes, see a doctor to get a proper diagnosis and appropriate care. Early detection of any underlying condition is always best. Symptom 9 of liver problems finger clubbing. Look what it does for your skin. Finger clubbing is a symptom that might raise a red flag for liver problems, but it's not exclusive to it. Here's what to look for. The tips of your fingers or toes become rounded and bulbous, almost like drumsticks. This happens because of increased tissue in the nail bed and potentially lower oxygen levels in those areas. While liver disease can cause finger clubbing, it's not the only culprit. Other health issues like heart problems, lung diseases, and even inflammatory bowel diseases can also lead to this change. Doctors actually see finger clubbing quite often because it can be a sign of various conditions. The bottom line? If your nails start looking like little drumsticks, see a doctor. It could be a sign of something treatable, and early diagnosis is always best. Symptom 10 of liver issues jaundice. Look at my skin! Look at my eyes! Jaundice is probably the most recognizable sign of liver problems. It's that yellowing of your skin and the whites of your eyes. But when your liver isn't working properly, bilirubin builds up in your bloodstream and spills into your skin, causing the yellowing. Liver disease isn't the only reason for jaundice. Some cancers and a condition called hemolytic anemia, where your body destroys red blood cells too quickly, can also cause it. The key takeaway? If you notice a yellowing of your skin or eyes, see a doctor. Early diagnosis of any underlying issue, whether it's liver-related or not, can lead to better treatment and overall health. Symptom 11 of liver disease spider nevi angioma. It makes your skin look green. Spider angiomas, also called spider nevi, might sound scary, but they're basically tiny red spidery blood vessels that appear on your skin. Up to 15% of people get them, and while they can be a sign of liver problems, they're also common in pregnant women or those taking birth control pills. The liver connection is linked to estrogen. When your liver isn't working properly, it can't break down hormones as effectively. This can lead to extra estrogen in your blood, which dilates small blood vessels and causes those spider angiomas. Other theories suggest trauma or blood flow changes might also play a role. The key point? If you notice these red spider-like marks on your skin, see a doctor. Early diagnosis of any underlying condition, whether liver-related or not, is always a good idea. 
Symptom 12 of liver disease Palmer erythema. Give me your skin. Look clean. Look. Palmer erythema is a fancy way of saying your palms turn reddish pink. It's another sign of liver problems and happens because more blood flows to your palms. This increased blood flow might be linked to hormonal changes caused by a malfunctioning liver. The liver plays a major role in keeping your hormones balanced. So, when it's not working properly, it can mess with other systems in your body, including your hormones. Palmer erythema often shows up with other liver disease symptoms like spider angiomas, those red spider-like veins and jaundice yellowing of the skin and eyes. If you notice any of these signs, see a doctor. Early diagnosis of any underlying condition, whether liver-related or not, can lead to better treatment and overall health. Symptom 13 of liver disease gynecomastia, men. Your skin looks much improved. Gee, thanks. Developing breast tissue, also known as gynecomastia, can be a sign of liver problems. This happens because the liver helps regulate hormones, and when it's not working properly, estrogen levels can rise in men, leading to breast tissue growth. It's important to note that gynecomastia isn't exclusive to liver disease. It can occur during puberty, due to excessive alcohol consumption, or even from certain medications. The key takeaway? If you notice any changes in your breast tissue, see a doctor. Early diagnosis of any underlying condition, whether liver-related or not, is crucial. Remember, a doctor can properly evaluate the cause and recommend the best course of treatment. Symptom 14 of liver problems ascites and distended veins in abdomen. Your skin. Give me your skin. An enlarged abdomen with visible veins popping out can be a sign of a condition called ascites, which happens sometimes with liver disease. Imagine a traffic jam happening in your blood vessels because the liver is damaged and can't filter blood properly. This pressure buildup forces fluid out of the vessels and into your belly, making your abdomen swell and those veins around it become more visible. These bulging veins are sometimes nicknamed Caput Medusae because they can look like the snakes on Medusa's head from Greek myths. Both ascites and distended veins are big warnings about liver problems and need a doctor's attention to treat the underlying condition. And now let's look at what some of the causes of liver disease are. However, this vital organ is susceptible to various threats, leading to a range of conditions collectively known as liver disease. Understanding the common causes of liver disease empowers us to take preventative measures and identify potential problems early on. Viral invaders, like an army of ruthless invaders, hepatitis A, B, and C launch a direct assault on the liver. Hepatitis A, a swift attacker, often retreats on its own, leaving the battlefield relatively unscathed. However, hepatitis B and C are more like persistent occupiers. They dig in, leaving scars and blockages in their wake. Over time, this occupied territory can become increasingly damaged, potentially leading to serious consequences for the liver's ability to function. Alcohol's toxic onslaught. Alcohol, a seemingly harmless guest, turns into a destructive force in the liver. With each drink, the liver struggles to process the toxins, like a party host overwhelmed by a messy crowd. Over time, this relentless assault leads to inflammation, akin to a hangover that never goes away. Fatty deposits build up, like a clogged drain, leading to fatty liver disease. The worst outcome is cirrhosis, where healthy liver tissue is replaced with scar tissue, like a once vibrant party space turned into a maze of walls, permanently hindering the liver's ability to function. A battlefield of toxins, in a silent war. Within, our bodies constantly battle a barrage. Industrial chemicals linger in the air we breathe and the products we touch. Even medications meant to heal and some seemingly natural herbal remedies can add to the burden. If not effectively neutralized and eliminated, these toxins can accumulate in our bodies like enemy soldiers occupying territory, wreaking havoc on our health. The liver stands as our primary defense system in this ongoing fight. Imagine a tireless general, coordinating the breakdown of these toxins into harmless substances that can be easily flushed out. It's a relentless battle, but the liver's vital work ensures a clean internal environment, keeping us healthy and functioning at our best. Fatty liver disease, a growing threat. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease NAFLD is a rapidly growing concern, particularly in developed nations. Unlike its alcohol-related counterpart, NAFLD is caused by an excess buildup of fat in the liver, even in individuals who abstain from alcohol. This fatty infiltration can trigger inflammation and potentially progress to cirrhosis if left unchecked. The Hand of Fate Genetic Disorders Our genes also hold the blueprint for our liver's health. 
In some cases, a twist in the genetic code can lead to hidden threats. Hemochromatosis, for example, is a condition where the body mistakenly absorbs too much iron from food. This excess iron builds up in the liver like a treasure overflowing, a chest a valuable resource becoming a dangerous burden. Left unchecked, this iron overload can damage the liver and lead to serious health problems. By understanding our genetic predispositions and risk factors, we can take proactive steps to protect our liver and prevent these hidden threats from becoming a reality. Friendly Fire Autoimmune diseases Our body's defense system, a well-trained army, normally protects us from invaders. But in autoimmune hepatitis, a tragic case of mistaken identity unfolds. Immune cells, usually our loyal soldiers, turn on healthy liver cells, like friendly fire erupting on the battlefield. This misdirected attack triggers inflammation and damage, leaving the liver, our vital command center, struggling to function properly. The once smooth operation becomes increasingly difficult, jeopardizing the body's ability to process waste and nutrients effectively. Biliary blockades, a damned up situation, picture your liver as a busy factory, working tirelessly to process and eliminate waste. The bile ducts act as its drainage system, carrying away these unwanted materials. But if the ducts become blocked, it's like a clogged drain in your kitchen sink. Bile, instead of flowing freely, backs up into the liver itself, causing a flood. This buildup can irritate the liver, much like a constantly overflowing sink disrupts your kitchen. Early detection is key. While this list covers some of the leading causes of liver disease, it's important to remember that it's not exhaustive. The key to managing liver disease effectively lies in early detection and prompt treatment. If you experience symptoms like persistent fatigue, unexplained nausea or vomiting, abdominal pain, or a yellowing of the skin and eyes jaundice, don't hesitate to seek medical advice. By understanding the potential threats and taking proactive measures, we can safeguard this silent warrior within us and ensure its continued optimal function for a healthy and vibrant life. It's important to remember that your skin, being the largest organ of your body, often shows signs of what's going on internally, including with your liver. If your liver isn't functioning properly, it may give you hints through changes in your skin. Pay close attention to the signs we've discussed. But keep in mind that just because you experience one of these signs doesn't automatically mean you have liver disease. This video is not meant to cause unnecessary alarm for those who notice an isolated spider angioma, for instance. However, if you find yourself experiencing several of these symptoms and you consume alcohol heavily, it might be a good idea to schedule a conversation with your doctor to discuss liver function tests. Early detection is key because the sooner you understand your situation, the sooner you can take steps to address it. Next, explore our Liver Club playlist for more valuable content. Feel free to share your health journey in the comments section below, as we believe in learning from one another's experiences. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, I extend my best wishes for your continued health, wealth, and happiness. Remember, the key to vitality is in your hands.